Hey everyone, it's Southern Belle Canto and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a little reading update and also share a small haul of new books I've purchased this past week. So first up in my reading update, I am about halfway finished with The Pool Boy by Nikki Sloan. I'm actually on page 184 out of, I think, 3, 315, so I'm a little over halfway finished. I am loving this book. I can see why so many people are giving it five stars. It is a great romance. Um, the taboo is, you know, pretty clean. Um, we have Erica, who is 42, and Troy, who is 24, and the taboo is, you know, older woman, younger man, but also she, or Troy, is the son of her best friend, so complications are everywhere. <laughs> Um, so far, I am really enjoying it, and I hope to have it finished by the end of this weekend, and I hope to give a nice review of it in a few days, so look out for that video coming up shortly. Uh, the next section is a small haul of books that I've recently picked up. The first book is by um, Clarice Michaels, and it's When You Wish Upon a Duke. Lovely cover. And this is what I'm told to be, or what I'm told, what I've read is their, her series, or this series, a Awakened by a Kiss series, is retellings of fairy tales. So I believe the first one was A Duchess of Day, and I think that was based on Snow White. I want to pick that book up for sure, because this looks really cute, and a lot of people have really enjoyed the series so far, so I hope I will as well. <laughs> So this is about Miss Isabel Tinker, so I'm assuming we have a Tinkerbell sort of idea, and if we look at our hero, Jason North Beckett, he's kind of giving us Captain Hook vibes with his puff sleeve pirate shirt, very nice, and it seems like she is in charge of like a travel agency in the, this isn't Regency, but... Eight, well, 1817, so yeah, kind of Regency, in the Regency era, and he needs a travel guide, so this looks really cute. I hope to, I have to read some, I have to read a lot of books this month. <laughs> I speak really fast, sorry. <laughs> um, the next book I picked up, I just picked this up like two hours ago at my local Walmart. I had to run some errands, and this is by Kate Bateman, Bateman. And it's the first in a series, and it's called A Reckless Match. Beautiful cover. I, I saw this right away, and I recognized it from Instagram. I can't remember if it was um, Books with Samantha or if it was Peace Love Books XL, but on their Instagram, they shared, like, the process of making this cover from Kate Bateman's Instagram. She had, like, the models and then, like, the artist the artist drawing of the model with like added details and then the finished cover. I thought that was really cool and I thought it was coming out in the spring or something but it was out at my Walmart so I picked it up and at Walmart today where I live it was $6.74 and it's regularly $8.99 so a little bit of savings there and it's the first in a series and this looks like an enemies to lovers trope which I do enjoy. Um, I like them more in the Regency era more than like modern day. There's so many of those like um, love, uh, enemies to lovers trope. It's always sort of the same kind of idea in the modern books. Like when I think of that, I think of so many Hallmark movies have that trope and I'm just like, Ugh, I don't want another one. <laughs> but this, I think I could really get behind. So I'm excited for to add this to my collection and soon to a TBR. Not sure if I'll make to make it make to it this month, but hopefully soon. It looks really cute. I love the cover. I thought this would be a spring book. It looks very springish, but you know what? I live in the south, so it's always spring <laughs> or hot. <laughs> and the last book I got, it's been really buzzed about with a lot of the YouTubers I watch on here. And it is The Lady of Rook's Grave Manor. I had to read it carefully. And this is by Catherine Moon. And it's The Tempting Monsters, book one. Um, I think a lot of people are buying this as an Amazon book or an ebook. 
and I don't like to read on my phone. I think if I bought like the, um, I think it's like the Amazon paper white where it's sort of a matte finish and a matte screen, I might do that, but I, I don't like reading on a screen. I have to look so much at the screen for work that I'm just, I want a book. <laughs> so I picked this up and it was, I believe, $14.99 on Amazon. And this is got a lot of buzz. Sorry for the glare. I'm trying to get it so it's not so shiny. It's a very shiny cover. I was really surprised the print is kind of small comparatively. Usually, like the Amazon books have a different finish. Like my, um, was it the Pool Boy is also an Amazon book. And it's got a matte finish and a larger text print. And this is pretty small. This is almost like reading a classics novel but a lot of people have really liked it and I'm hoping I will too. It is a reverse harem story. So it's a female with a lot of male lovers. Interesting. And they're monsters. So that could be fun. I definitely want to read this in the month of October. So I'm going to read, put this on my TBR and um, I'll have to move another book to no November or something. But I mean, why wouldn't I read this in October? I mean, spooky. <laughs> it's very spooky, very Halloween-y, very October. So I definitely want to read this book this month because it really wouldn't make sense in February for me. <laughs> but what I thought was interesting is um, so a lot of the male suitors or lovers <laughs> are monsters and they have like a, a lot of the famous archetypes. So like a Jekyll and Hyde sort of person, like mad scientist. And I believe there's like a wolf man and a vampire and maybe a Frankenstein. I'm not quite sure. It doesn't say, but from what I've heard from other people that have read it, it's um, spicy and a lot of fun. And I think I will like this. I don't read a lot of fantasy, but I love um, horror, like American Horror Story and um, a lot of horror movies. I do love the old, like, vintage um monster movies, so like Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, Dracula, Creature of the Black Lagoon, all those, so that should be fun. So I am looking forward to this book, and I will be reading this on my October TBR. I'll add it to it. And yeah, these were the three books I picked up recently. So The Lady of Rook's Grave Manor by Catherine Moon, A Reckless Match by Kate Bateman, and When You Wish Upon a Duke by Clarice Michaels. So these look like a lot of fun. And um, I will be finishing The Pool Boy either tonight or the following day by tomorrow. And I will try to have my review up on this book within a couple days. So hopefully I enjoy the rest of it. I have loved it. It's been really, really spicy. It is, if I do a rating scale on my Instagram so one chili pepper is like mild or no sexual content. Three is sexual content, but you know, like, okay, you know, not too bad. You, you could give this to an aunt or mom. <laughs> and then five is like very spicy, um, could have uh, BDSM or stuff or very sexual. And this is very sexual. So I don't know if you're not into that, I would skip this book. If you're into it, read it because it's very good. <laughs> but yeah, The Pool Boy by Nikki Sloan. I will have this finished very soon. All right. Well, I hope everyone is having a really good day. It's Saturday when I'm filming this. Hopefully, I have this up either Saturday or Sunday. Hope you have a great day. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And be on the lookout for my review of The Pool Boy. It should be up in a few days. Bye, everyone. Take care.